going on YouTube? This is Chris. Today here with my daughter, Jaden Miller. And we're going to be trying out some slime kiss today. First up, we have the Elmer's Galaxy Star Slime Pack Gloop. Another instant slime gloop. And we're going to be trying out these three kits today for you guys. You know, just in case you want to get it for your kid for Christmas or a present or anything. We're going to see how well they work. So first up, we're going to do the, the Galactic. That's the color. Galactic Instant Slimy Gloop. So it looks like it comes with the Slimy Goop. Slimy Goop Activator. A mixing stick. And I guess what makes it the galaxy and a bowl okay first we add instant slimy goop activator to empty cup i'm just gonna add that much for now okay i'm scared to remove it whoa <laughs> it's gonna whoa overflow. it's gonna overflow the word <laughs> uh, okay i'm gonna add that much so guys right off i can tell you do not use the cup that they send with <laughs> it you might want to use your own cup for a bigger size I see it sticking to your fingers a lot. <laughs> yeah. I think it's just gonna stay this way because it keeps on going to this consistency. So yeah, guys, this is this is what our end result is with it. We're just gonna push on to number two. All right, guys. Now we're gonna try the mystical gloop. <laughs> Boom. What do we have in this one? Same thing, right? Yes. Yep. Solution, activator, bowl, glitter, and stick. That was activator and not for Jerry Curls. <laughs> and this is solution. It's so difficult. Well, I'll tell you what, I can start off saying uh, a kid is going to need help squeezing this because it's really hard to squeeze out of the bottle. Three hours later. Okay, this is making me tired of squeezing. I think that's enough. Okay, so it seems that if you keep working it while it's in the activator, it stops it from being uh, real sticky and sticking to your hands, and it gets it to where it's that gloop consistency. This one started getting right after playing with it for a little while. Yeah. <laughs> Is it better? Uh, you know, I'm not used to the goop thing. <laughs> so I don't know what's good and In that sound. But I know it's like hey, two. Uh, Ew. Uh. Yeah, it looks a lot better whenever you pour the whole activator bottle into a different container. It's easier to work it. Uh huh. A lot. Easier. Oh, I see what you mean. It, it totally changes the the feel when you put it in the activator. But like, so do you have to keep doing that as you play with it, or? Yes, you put it in the activator, you play with it, and then whenever it starts feeling even a tad bit sticky again, you just put it back in the activator. This one turned out really pretty. I'm gonna start adding the uh, glitter. Compared to making my own slime, I would say they're both the, like same uh, difficulty because with normal slime, you have to put glue in a bowl and then keep on adding detergent or borax and water. And this one, you just had to keep on adding the activator. So they're about the same. This one's like rub more rubbery. I'm not really getting the uh, galactic out of this one I'm with the stars we added to it. I am definitely getting the mystical vibe. What do you say we move on to the Elmer's? 
Let's do it. Kid. All right, now, guys, we're going to be trying the Elmer's Galaxy Slime Starter Pack. I want the blue. I want the blue. I want the blue. I want the blue. I want the purple. No, I want the pink. <laughs> okay, so you first by getting your glue. Dump it in the middle. The whole thing? Yeah. Okay. Does it smell like glue from school? <laughs> well, this is glitter glue. Glitter glue. Two thousand years later. One eternity later. Okay. Now what do I do, my lovely daughter? You just add like a few splashes. <laughs> I might have added a little too much. No, it's fine. Mix. Um, you use Persil because it's a strong detergent and it's uh, easy to make the slime come together. And it smells awesome. It's scented intense flesh. Does that mix good? Perfect. Perfect. So, do I use all this detergent or? Not at once. You pour it like, mm, that, like, there you go. I started with maybe a tablespoon. Give it a mix. Mine's changing. That fast, really. Oh, mine's changing. It's starting to coagulate and make it a lot thicker. And you just add just a little bit more each time. So what happens if you add too much water or too much uh, soap? It'll become very rubbery and um, it just breaks apart really easily and it won't stretch. Whoa, look guys. This really works out your muscles. You just mix it after a while and if it's still sticky, you just add a tiny bit more. Tiny bit more what? The detergent. Mine's getting there. And I figured out that everyone's like, has some people have sweaty hands? People with sweaty hands shouldn't play with your slime. I'm trying to get to the point where like, everyone has a different like hand texture, I guess that's what I should say. Um, so it, it, it depends. You might have really hard slime to one person, then really sticky slime to another person. Mine is like play with a bowl. Mine's almost kind of there. It's better to, it feels better to knead it with my hand. Yeah. How do we know where we want to be? Uh, whenever it stops sticking to your hand. And it uh, it picks up the bowl, uh, slime, the rest of the glue from the bowl. Okay. Uh, even with like this type of detergent, you want to be careful not to like get it near your mouth or eyes. Um, but it's more safe than borax because borax can burn your hands. I'm pretty sure most people don't. Okay, let me feel yours. Is yours is yours ready? Yeah. Is mine stickier oh, no, to you? Mine, yeah. Look. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start on the purple one. Okay. Uh oh. I think I did something wrong. We, if it gets really, really clumpy, just get it out of the bowl because there's still detergent in the bowl. Um, and if it's really like bad, not bad, but if it's really, um, like it falls apart easily, you just add lotion. Keep on kneading it. Lotion, uh. lotion makes it stretchy again. I miss my little pumpkin. That's okay. Okay, this is a direct <laughs> <laughs> cause of too much detergent, guys. So you gotta add little by little detergent. I'm gonna see if I can save it. Oh, I know how you fix that. Uh, you know how you saw me doing like this to my slime? It drips a little detergent out of it. 
and it gets like stuck to your hand, so just like Sneak pat it. it. And it helps put them back together, so it's easier to stretch back together. Ooh, I got some slime on my hand. Ooh. Is it helping? Wow. <laughs> Look, from that to that, guys. Just that quick. You are a slime pro. <laughs> yeah, so I think I got my consistency right. So yeah, guys, I kind of like this one. It's not as gloopy as the uh, the gloop kit. But the Elmer's kit, I, I pretty much like that one. I like the consistency. I like the way it doesn't stick to your hands. See? It's a little bit much. Hope it doesn't mess it up. Yeah, guys. It seems as I like this one better. Even though we didn't go by the directions uh, of the uh, recipe that they have on the box. What did we add different from the recipe? Uh, the recipe told us to add contact solution. Uh, but we added detergent. But we added detergent and plain old water and i like this one better it's more stretchy <laughs> pokey <Pokemon. laughs> mm. i wish you guys could smell this the the persil the persil soap smells so good but you can use whatever uh soap that you want to i'm just starting with two squirts this one is very hard to stretch and the lotion will help stretch it. So if you have slime that's really, really rubbery and hard to stretch, you just need to get like any lotion. Bath and Body Works lotion works too. Um, a couple squirts and it'll turn stretchy again. Okay, now. We have our three slimes made, our blue one, our pink, and our purple one. Now what's the next step? Make it galaxy. Make it galaxy. What's, so, what's that consist of? You uh, stretch them out into a line right beside each other. You twirl it. Put glitter on top. Oh, here we go with the glitter. <laughs> it's galaxy. You gotta make it pretty. You like your bling bling, huh? <laughs> So that's the glitter in the three different colors. It's so pretty. Yeah, that is pretty. This one makes a lot better bubbles. That one, uh, the instant slime goop, the loop, made some bubbles, but it wasn't as good as Omer's bubbles. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. <laughs> so in the end, guys, the instant slimy gloop ended up like this. We'll just say the feeling of it is. Um, it's more rubbery than like smooth and stretchy. Yeah, see, if I had my choice of playing with uh, slime, it would be this. I like the, the feel, the texture. The, uh, like my daughter says, the bubbles. This These don't even really make bubbles. But for a slime starter maybe, this is perfect. Five bucks a piece. So this was 10 bucks of the instant slimy gloop. The Elmer's for the whole kit with three glue for 10 bucks and it makes that much slime. But this one comes in 10 bucks and it makes this much slime. So I would take this over that any day. I would too. But also, those come with everything that you need with a, a bowl, the glitter, and the activator. But with these, it only came with the glues. So you would need detergent and glitter if you wanted it to be like glittery. Can you use any type of uh, soap? Could you use dish soap? Uh, no. I've tried before, it does not work. Um, you just need to find a very strong detergent. Uh, like I said, I like using Priscilla because it's a strong detergent and it makes this. I'm so happy right now. 
Okay, guys, that's going to do it for us today of our Elmer's and Instant Slime Gloop reviews. We both go with the Elmer's. Elmer's. Please like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys in the next video.